Meet the company that's beating Amazon to drone deliveries. Zipline has already logged over 186,000 miles and completed more than 4,000 deliveries since 2016. The company has focused on delivering blood and life-saving medical products to hard-to-reach areas in Rwanda, but will soon expand to other developing nations and even the U.S. The service that Zipline provides allows any doctor or nurse anywhere in the country to basically send a text message and get the product that they need 15 to 30 minutes later. Like traditional logistics companies, Zipline is paid per delivery. Its drone system is four times faster than the average quadcopter and can serve an area 200 times as large. One third of the deliveries in Rwanda were for life critical situations. If a patient shows up at one of the hospitals and happens to need a transfusion of that blood type, Zipline actually can deliver that specific product from our distribution center to the hospital so quickly that the patient actually doesn't know the product wasn't stocked at the hospital to begin with. Here's how it works. When that text message is received at the distribution center, uh, we will immediately take that product out of our central store, load it into a box, and then that box gets placed into one of our zips, which is one of these autonomous aircraft. Once loaded, the drone is catapulted into the air on a launcher. Using military-grade GPS, the drones navigate to the healthcare centers that Zipline serves and drop their package from the air on a paper parachute before returning to the distribution centers. Uh, we're actually using an active recovery system uh, that takes inspiration from an aircraft carrier. We're actually tracking the plane with about centimeter level accuracy and we can pluck the plane out of the air uh, and then basically swing it down so that our flight operators can immediately um, grab it, load a new package and launch it again. Zipline will start making deliveries in the U.S. this year as part of an FAA pilot program. The company says that it has already partnered with a number of healthcare systems, states, cities and research institutions in the U.S. Learning from Rwanda's example, the U.S. is now moving really quickly to show how this kind of technology can save lives and be commercialized here in this country. And what's exciting is that Zipline's second generation aircraft and second generation distribution center um, are coming online in the next month. And they're going to make it possible for us to go from serving a small country like Rwanda at limited scale to a much larger country like the U.S. Uh, at a scale of hundreds of millions of people.